it is April 1st, which can only mean one thing. Today's Top 5 Wednesday is Top 5 Jokester Characters. So let's do this. everybody it's Lydia here so today's I was really struggling with because honestly I don't know if it's just me but I couldn't think of very many jokes to characters there are the couple of ones which everyone will probably mention in their top fives but apart from them I was really struggling so I have found four and one of them I'm really not sure whether they count so there we go, let's do this anyway. So at number five, four, <laughs> I have gone for Nikolai from the Grisha series. Before you say he's not a jokester character, I know. <laughs> um, it's because when I was trying to think of jokester characters, I was like, oh, I can't think of a single one, and he's just really funny. Um, I've picked the wrong book really to kind of use as an example for this. He's much more funny in... Um, Siege and Storm, but uh, he, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know who to pick. I just found him amusing, but he's not really a jokester. Let's move on quickly. I'm just gonna get my next one out the way because probably a lot of people are gonna have them in their top five. I've gone for Fred and George Weasley from Harry Potter. They're just awesome. They are kind of the ultimate pranksters, aren't they? They're hilarious and uh, I love them. And I think the great thing about them is that even, you know, take away all the hilarious stuff that they do and completely awful pranks that they pull, um, take away all that. They are just really supportive of their family. And I think, I mean, the whole Weasley family is very supportive of each other, except Percy maybe. But um, Fred and George are very supportive of their family and I just really liked that they had that dynamic side to them. They weren't just jokesters and pranksters. They were, you know, supportive and part of the family as well. In the top five about pranksters, I had to put one of Shakespeare's fools in here because I'm a Shakespeare nerd and the kind of archetypal fool, as it were, really kind of in terms of literature certainly sort of starts to stem from Shakespeare's era. There are a couple of examples prior to him but in general he's the sort of beginning of fools in literature as it were. And I was trying to think of a fool who really epitomised the whole prankster idea. I went for Feste from Twelfth Night kind of biased because I actually played this role in a production a few years ago so I know it really well. Um, the reason I picked Feste is because he is extremely clever. He is the most witty, intelligent character in Twelfth Night um, but he never kind of brags about it. He never... he knows he's the most clever. He knows pretty much everyone around him are idiots but he just... he just has a laugh and he... I really kind of when I think about that character he's just very um I think of him as sort of a people watcher really I think he just really observes and gets his sort of wit from just watching people but he does pull pranks in this the whole kind of a big arc of this plot does revolve around this big pranking of Marvolio um whether or not that's actually a funny prank or whether or not they actually feste and everyone else involved in that prank actually find it funny in the end is up for debate but um it's just i just had to pick him because i really love that character and i needed to have a fool in here from shakespeare and finally i've already mentioned fred and george from the harry potter series but as i am currently rereading the harry potter series i have been reminded of how much i love peeves the poltergeist because I completely missed him from the movie so much. Um, I know Rick Mail was gonna play him and then they ended up cutting his scenes from the first movie, which was such a shame. I know in the grand scheme of things, Peeves isn't a majorly significant character, but he is just so funny and witty and I love, he's not witty, but he's just very, um, he just adds something to the whole book, you know, some kind of, I don't know, he's just really interesting. Um, I particularly love the scene in this book where Harry is out and about in his invisibility cloak and Peeves kind of bumps into him and knows someone's there 
and Harry pretends to be the bloody Baron and Peeves is just like terrified. Um, it's hilarious, I love it and I mean Peeves is such a kind of archetypal prankster so he had to be in this top five. So that is it for my top five today, I uh, know it wasn't really a top five, um, it really was basically a top three because Nikolai probably doesn't count but it's really tough. I'm going to be really interested to see everyone else's videos this week because I really struggled with this. Anyway, that's it for me today. I will see you again soon, but until then, bye!